This is the thermal imager that I use for testing in the field. It's the E4 and it's upgraded to an E8. And here's just a comparison of the four E-series cameras by FLIR. If you're considering uh, going to a thermal imager but don't want to pay that much money for one, then there are other options. FLIR has these multimeters out um, and I understand they're good. They're not going to have the higher end features, um, but uh, they do the job. These are the two refrigerators that I tested today. The one on the left is the Frigidaire. It's in my kitchen. And then the other one, the Whirlpool on the right, is in my garage. And these are the temperatures that they're set out so you have a reference. First I'm testing the Frigidaire and you can see the, the heat and the cold all around the fridge. That's the uh, heat from the condenser. The fan's blowing it out the right side there. And also on the side you see some some heat there um, as well. It will always recalibrate so that the, the blues and the reds, uh, it's always changing so you have to kind of pay attention to that. When I open the door here, the blue on the right, you can see the dark blue goes from you know 47 uh, down to a negative 20, and so it's the same color. So you gotta, you can't really pay attention to the color. You have to look at the actual temperatures. You can see it's going down to negative uh, 16, 17 uh, on the back wall there, and that's really what I want to find at the max setting on a fridge that's set to zero degrees then normally I'm going to find negative 5 degrees on that back wall. Uh, the the temperature of the food is going to be a little higher. Uh, normally I'd probably see probably uh, between 0 and 5 on the food, and that's uh, totally normal. Um, here, obviously, um, I'm because the setting's lower, I'm in the negatives. And on the right-hand side, the fresh fruit compartment, uh, again, I'm not going to pay attention to the max uh, setting at all here. What I'm going to be looking for is the min and the spot. So, you know, if I'm in the 20s, in the 30s, uh, in the 40s, then we're looking good. So, And you can see it's it's taking a lot of different readings from a lot of different places. But you want to get kind of an overall grasp of what it's the temperature it's taking. It's just a tool that you have to get used to and just use and get comfortable with it. And this is my garage fridge. So it's 40, probably about 40 degrees uh, in the garage. And you can see how, actually the compressor was not on when I came out here, but still it's, uh, you know, negative 16, negative 17, similar to what we saw in the Frigidaire in the kitchen. Yeah, you know, I'm looking for an even temperature top to bottom. If I have a, let's say a temperature that's you know 20 degrees in the on the top of the freezer and then uh, negative 15 in the bottom of the freezer I know either I have an airflow issue like a bad fan or something like that or a defrost issue if I if the compressor is on and I see anything over zero degrees that tells me that I probably have a sealed system problem and that's where I would start diagnosing all right, if you have any questions, you know, put them down in the comments. You can always uh, also uh, comment in the re-engineers group, and we'll see you next time.